Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix Smart 7 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So let's get started by opening up our settings. And from here we're gonna start off by navigating into the personalized section. So in here we have a couple different things that allow you to personalize the look and the feel of your device. I'm gonna just touch upon a couple of them. So right at the front we have themes. So in here we should have, it looks like only one apparently, theme uh, that is pre-installed. But you can navigate online and find other themes that might suit your taste a little bit more than the default one that comes pre-installed. That will include wallpapers, icon styles and so on. Now, a little bit lower, we do have uh, static wallpapers, online wallpapers, and galleries, so just wallpapers in general. And then scrolling down, we have other things like desktop settings, uh, fonts, uh, which obviously fonts will allow you to change the font of the device. Uh, if you download more, there will be more visible in here. There is only two that come with the device. And under the desktop, this is basically the uh, home screen. That's what they refer uh, to as desktop. And here you can just change things like the uh, badges on the icons, uh, gesture settings, and so on. So just customizing how this kind of acts and looks. Now, moving on to the next option is going to be the dark mode located under the display and brightness. Now, we do have a light and dark mode switch, so you can choose one permanently. But you can also select it to switch automatically either from sunset to sunrise or on a custom schedule, which obviously you can select the time, exact time that will switch between. Now going a little bit further down in the display and brightness section, now we will have uh, the, where was it? Oh, right here, as the last option, status bar. Now status bar on Infinix is a little bit cluttered as you can probably see uh it gives us things like internet speed which personally i don't really care that much uh the battery percentage is okay but if you just find it mm, a little bit too clutter cluttered in terms of the battery look you can disable that as well and it just shows you like that mm, fill basically and then additionally you have the show notification icons you can completely turn those off now uh, obviously the notifications still stay in here there we go they are still visible in here once you pull on the notification tray, but they just don't show up in your status bar and don't clutter it. These options are primarily to make the device look a little bit cleaner if that is something that you're going for. Now the last thing that I wanted to show you is the system navigation, which you can find also under the display and, the, and brightness as the uh, text at the bottom, so more settings. And I believe uh, the system navigation is actually located in the system settings, but we can get redirected from here by simply clicking on it and as you can see it brings us here now we have the two different options so if you want to go back to the three button navigation you can do so from here and additionally if you selected the three button nav at the very beginning throughout the setup uh, and you want to select your gestures you can switch them right here as well so there we go now with that being said hopefully you found this very helpful if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching